The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. Boy, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better, but no such luck. And Byron, this match will undoubtedly go a long way in proving which competitor is the premier force in the women's locker room. And because of that, Michael, I'm willing to bet all the other women are surrounding the monitors in the back right now, getting ready for this one. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. Well, guys, she certainly has her work cut out for her here tonight. That's for sure. Yeah, but she knew that coming in, Cole. I assure you, she did her homework and knows exactly what to expect from her opposition here. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Agreed, Byron. And I'd say this match has what it takes to be one of the special ones. And here's the lockup. Look at these two jockeying for position. Slams her down with great force. Did you hear that? What impact! Emma's on the attack. Emma's on the attack. She's on the defensive now. But this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. And there's the Russian leg sweep. No chance of staying up right after that one. Here we go. Emma is setting it up. Her chest been battered here. I'd imagine her ribs are also bruised. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. She's going for the cover. There's an ear fall. Might have slipped there, Cole. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. She may be in a bad way here. You have to wonder how much more she has left in the tank. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's gonna need to find a way to fend. No! She breaks it! Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. 
and she drops her. That was about as in your face as it gets. An unbelievable neck breaker. Look at this. She can do no wrong here. Oh, man. She's in trouble. And she lands the Bulldog. Emma's starting to sweat. By no means is this dire straits for her, though. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Neutralizes her with a neck breaker. I see where she's going with this. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me! Struggling to get up right here. Tough spot to be in at this point, Michael. She is on fire. That one misses big time. Better luck next time. What a treat we have here with WWE women superstars in action. Okay, now she's just showing off. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Going for the double play with this move. Look at, oh man, Emma Sandwich. She got all of it there. Mickey James is in a real bad spot. Emma looking to deliver them. Shoulders down, this could be it. There's the pinfall. And... Making his way to the ring from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! Finn Balor looks to be in phenomenal shape here tonight. Man, look at those abs. I wonder when the last time he had a donut was. And the good news is that he appears to be coming into tonight with a little extra motivation. Yeah, and he's really had a chip on his shoulder as of late, and it seems to have been helping him.
from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tazawa. Byron, few cruiserweights are as intense as this man. Yeah, Akira Tazawa is about as laser focused as they come. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. This is some great offense by Finn Balor. How about we touch on Finn Balor a bit? So tell us, oh, wise one, what's he got to do to win here tonight? Well, we're going to see who the better competitor is here tonight. I love one-on-one -on -one matches. No excuses, just fight. For some competitors, part of their strategy is to demean their opponent. A move like that says it all. Yeah. He hits the belly-to-back suplex. <laughs> He's starting to show signs of fatigue. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't get too much into this right now. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. DDT connects. And he goes for the pin. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing. The Irishman has his Irish up. There it is. That might be the end of Akira Tozawa tonight. Finn Balor is in position. Coup de grace. I can't believe it, Michael. His shoulders are down. Now got the shoulder up at the very last moment. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. with a counter. This should do it right there. An early pin attempt. Two. Will this be it? Look at Finn Balor here. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. And it's reversed. He's really putting his athleticism on display here. A 
Ain't no stopping him now. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. This is some great offense by Finn Balor. Here he goes for the win. One, two. He got it. No, kick out at two. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. Look at him move. What acrobatics. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. This is some great offense by Finn Balor. He might just be out, guys. I agree. He hasn't moved one bit. The Irishman has his Irish up. Second time's a charm. Inverted DDT! Game, set, match, this one is over. down. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He looks for it once again. Shakuya Gross. That should do it. Emma. There's the pin. Ken is upon a kick out. Making his way to the ring, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz. Big time singles matches on deck here, and Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. Allow me to point out just how focused he appears to be here tonight. I noticed the same thing, Cole. In fact, it looks to me like he'll settle for nothing short of a victory here in this one. from Los Angeles, weighing in at 175 pounds, TJP. Guys, this one promises to be absolutely amazing. But as they say, promises are made to be broken, Michael. Though in this case, I think we're safe. Well, he definitely looks ready for what's ahead of him here tonight, that's for sure. I'd agree with that, Michael. In fact, I don't remember the last time I saw him in better shape than he's in right now.
based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Well said, Byron. Now let's get this match underway. Got all that neck breaker. And so, what are your thoughts right now on The Miz? What, in your opinion, can the WWE Universe expect from him here? Some advice for everyone watching at home. Don't ever count The Miz out. When he emerged from Tough Enough more than a decade ago, everybody thought he'd be gone within weeks. Fast forward to today, he is a surefire Hall of Famer. Here in the early going, he's got a spring in his step and some fire in his eyes. We'll see if that translates to a victory. by The Miz. He hits a huge elbow drop. Nice job by The Miz. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. Eight. Nine. He looks a bit off his game here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Dean Ambrose's game plan is heading into this one. I'm not even sure Dean Ambrose knows what Dean Ambrose's game plan is. He just doesn't seem like the kind of guy who heads into a match with much of a blueprint. Atmosphere inside this arena for this one is absolutely insane, guys. And if you think this is insane, just wait until this thing kicks into high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet.
weight of 505 pounds, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Byron, earlier today, Carl Anderson told me he could win this match in his sleep. Well, that sounds like a bit of an exaggeration, but you do have to like his chances. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Down with authority. Dean Ambrose is not someone to sleep on. I think we've got a moment here, and for Dean Ambrose, what can you tell us? What do you expect his approach to be here? If you ask me, the best word to describe Dean Ambrose is crazy. The man is borderline certifiable. He probably shouldn't even be allowed out here. Well, the time for talk is over now, and he knows it. The Lunatic Fringe is one of the toughest, most unpredictable superstars in sports entertainment today. Maybe even ever. Ambrose will do whatever is necessary to pick up the win. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Taken down with a side slam. down with the axe handle. There's an excitement and chaos that follows Dean Ambrose wherever he goes. The lunatic fringe will pull out all the stops to make sure he leaves that ring victorious. One of the things that makes the lunatic fringe so unpredictable is he can brawl. He can take it to the air and he can go hold for hold with an opponent. attack. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Going with a suplex, belly to back. Luke Gallo showing us how to get it done. Face Buster. And once again, we see a return to this specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. through on that slam. Look at Luke Gallo starting to slow here. 
This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Six. Flips the script on him there. Gonna have to get back in the ring here, guys. Running out of time. Got him with the elbow drop. Eight. He'd better hope he can sustain this. Nine. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. Things definitely.